Hey friends, welcome to Candy's Best Life Over 50. I hope you're having a great day. It is the day before Labor Day, so let's celebrate freedom in America for the first time in four years. How about let's do that? Let's do that. Okay, enough about politics. <laughs> I'm on here today to teach you a fun little thing that I learned this week. I found a new recipe on YouTube from a gal who has since passed away, but it's a hamburger bun recipe. And I wanted to share some tips from that recipe. Um, it's not my recipe, but I learned something from her. As you guys know, I live in a motorhome now. We've been doing this since the end of April. So in a motorhome, you're in a drafty environment, obviously, because it's small, right? If you've got the air running, which it's running right now. If you can hear that, I apologize. But you know there's always air moving. And when you're trying to rise bread, that can, it can impede the process a little bit. So the recipe I have been using for my bread, you can rise it in the microwave. I have a convection microwave right here behind me. That is one awesome tip. You can take a cup of microwaved water and put it in there and let it rise in there. There's no draft in there and it gives the great, humid, warm environment to raise, to rise bread. Unfortunately, this is the only thing I have to bake in. So when I tried this recipe earlier this week, I had multiple pans of hamburger buns and a pan of hot dog buns and I couldn't rise them all in here at the same time. It was one batch. So this, this batch I found um, makes 20 buns. I cut it in half. So her, her solution to this, which is genius and I don't know why I never thought of it, is use a heating pad to raise, to rise, I keep saying raise, rise, rise your bread and your buns. And so since I had two pans in my convection oven stacked on this, you know, the little round things that they give you for your convection oven, I had one on the bottom, one on the top. I, had, I was raising, rising two pans of hamburger buns in here, but I still needed to rise my hot dog buns. So I got my heating pad out, put it on low, I think it was just on warm, the lowest setting, and I set my hot dog buns on the counter, covered them with, um, they were buttered on the top so that this, the plastic wrap would not stick to them when I went to bake them. And I set them on the heating pad and they rose beautifully. So if you have a drafty kitchen, maybe you don't have an, a microwave or a convection oven or a place, like I don't have an oven in here. I have no like, like traditional oven. You can always rise your stuff in an oven with just the light on that'll create enough heat in there. But if you don't have that, like me in an RV, there are ways to rise bread successfully. You can use the microwave, convection oven, whatever you've got. Or if you're like me and you didn't have enough room in there to do the whole batch, use a heating pad. Like it's genius. So that lady, I mean, she saved me so much because today, my bread maker is right there on the counter. I'm currently making another batch of hamburger buns and hot dog buns. Today I'm focusing more on the hot dog buns because I am gonna freeze them. She said this recipe freezes beautifully. In the first batch, I overbaked my hot dog buns and we're having brats today. So I wanted fresh, fresh hot dog buns for dinner today. And I'm not gonna do all hot dog buns. I will probably do one pan of hamburger buns and one pan of hot dog buns or maybe two bags of hot, two pans of hot dog buns it just depends on um how the recipe goes today but my recipe cutting her recipe in half made 12 hot dog hamburger buns and six hot dog buns and that was half the recipe so um i can put a link to her video below because it is not my recipe i don't want to share the ingredients on here because it's not my recipe, but I, I can put a link to her video in the comments for you. They're really soft buns and they are so good. So it's gonna be a process today. This particular recipe has to rise three times. The first rise for me is gonna happen in the bread maker. 
And then I'm gonna remove the dough, punch it down, put it into a greased bowl, and let it rise a second time for 45 minutes. And then once I shape it into my buns, my hamburger buns and my hot dog buns, then I'm gonna let it rise a third time for another 30 minutes. Second rise, first rise is I do in the bread maker. I think typically for the recipe, that's like 30, 35 minutes. Second rise, 40 minutes. Third rise, 30 minutes. So it's a long all day process. But I'm telling you, if you are tired of buying buns at the grocery store that you get home and they're not even good, this is a great recipe. And like I said, I will post a link in the comments of my video once I post this, but I'm not gonna post it until I have buns to show you. So later on today, I'll take pictures of my buns, not the ones on my body, but the ones that come out of my bread maker, and I'll share it with you. Because if I find a tip on Facebook that is life-changing in a situation, um, I'm gonna share it. And that whole heating pad thing, I mean, it's genius. And I don't honestly know why I never thought of it. Living in a camper with, with a very small environment and just not a lot of space to do things that I used to do in my massive kitchen, you know, it's just genius. So anyway, you guys have a great day. Much love from Candy's Best Life Over 50, as always. Thank mm -hmm. you.